Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion channel and welcome back to another video. So today is day nine of my water fast and I have decided that I am going to break my fast today. Um, reason being is because I am I've got to get geared up to run my flea market booth this um, Saturday and on top of that I am uh, just I'm starting to get dysfunctional and I'm down to like 97 96 pounds and uh, I just I just uh, feel like you know that I'm, I've reached my limit and so I made it two days past my last water fast which I consider to be good I'm proud of myself and after I listened to Dan McDonald's uh, 40 day water fast and you know how many challenges he had before he was able to reach his goal and my goal is a 21 day water fast um, but I really know that I'm just not going to be able to get that far in my circumstances right now with, uh, I have a lot of responsibilities. I have to take care of my pets and, um, and I have responsibilities in the house, things that I have to do. Um, I also need to uh, start my business back going again and um, stuff like that so it is what it is um, we will get there and I have to admit um, it's been a smooth ride I feel like that the fasting that I've done has transitioned me to this point to where really it wasn't that hard after the first three days it was it was easy it really really was um, there were moments where I just got really really tired and I needed to take a break and that was okay um, so that being said um, it was the thing about water fasting for me, I did it for spiritual purposes, and it really did bring me so much closer to God, and it really gave me a lot of gratitude. I have so much gratitude for my home and my family and just a lot of things. Um, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, with the thing the way that things are um, I have so much to be grateful for um, and I'm thankful for that I have a good husband who loves me and he takes care of me and yeah he's not perfect I'm not perfect like we have our issues who are we kidding um, you know, but that's what love is about. It's about loving people the way they are. Because love is something that you receive from God. You receive love from God. He gives it to you. And then you are able to love others. A lot of people's marriages and their relationships fail and it's because they don't spend time with God so if you're not spending time with God then don't expect your relationships to work out you know they they may work out for a little while superficially but in the long run 
there's gonna be some consequences. I decided to go the long way. Um, so today I am really just, I honestly, I could stay in the bed all day today, but I can't. And that's why I've got to break my fast. Um, I stayed in the bed all day yesterday and all night and I slept all through the night. I have not had any problems waking up. I've slept like a baby all the nights um, and even slept in. So apparently my body needed a lot of rest and, um, and I'm so thankful that I was able to rest like that and to heal because that is when your body does heal. Um, so, everything has been going really good um, overall and I'm really thankful that God helped me through this fast. Um, I just wanna say Yoga has been very important for me on this fast, and um, doing my um, my exercises, um, you know, on my yoga mat. Um, I do some uh, pelvic floor exercises and uh, been really focusing on that and um, there was a dresser on the side of the road like I'm one of these people I'm like what is that on the side of the road because I found a $300 pool ladder that I turned around and sold for $150 the next day and um, I found some like Italian inlay tables in that same batch of stuff that were worth like $600 a piece. Yeah, I kept those. I've got them for sale, but nobody's buying them because of our economy right now. But um, um, but you know, Italian inlay tables is kind of like one of those things that it's not like a have to side table but they're absolutely beautiful and uh but yeah so that's why I always check the side of the road um but uh so my yoga in the morning like I woke up so freaking stiff and my hips felt so out of whack and they even this one was kind of like felt stubbed up and i did the cobra and i did the snake i did some back bends and i did some other yoga postures and stuff and my when i was done with that my hip felt fine and i was also really stiff in my neck and everything so doing yoga it really helps to loosen up the lymph it helps to loosen up um deposits that may be stuck somewhere within the body so that was very beneficial so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I may do a video of me eating what I'm going to eat after my fast I'm not sure yet um, I'm on my way to the grocery store right now to find something that just you know speaks to me that I want. Right now, I can't think of anything. I thought that I was going to want oranges, and then I thought I was going to want prunes. Um, I've had like, but now I don't really know what I want. It's so bizarre. It's like I really don't want anything. Even though I'm hungry, it's like this fast has really made a difference in my relationship with food it's really quite amazing and I'm very thankful because that was the goal 
you know, to quit this uh, obsessive comfort eating that I sometimes get stuck in, in a loop. Um, so I'm pretty confident that I fasted long enough and that the goal was complete and I'm definitely going to be doing some more fasting uh, for sure. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.